This is a lecture uh, regarding the basic crystallography which is given by the Dr. Ajit Moshan. Uh, with that, the students are going to be clarified how the crystal are going to be uh, made and how the arrangement of atom in the crystal is going to be held. And what are the basic characteristics of a crystal which are going to be uh, identify the crystallinity of the system in any solid material it is going on. So the students are going to be clarify their doubts uh, regarding the crystallographic analysis of the solid material. Uh, let us go for the overview of the slide is going to be crystalline and non-crystalline material. Uh, here the second topic will be covered the, about the crystals and what is the crystal lattice we will follow it in the next slide. Crystal planes which is exist within the atomic orientation uh, we will discuss in this slide. Some really most important relevant and crystal structure that are going to be discussed over here and the one of the important topic which is related to the uh, crystallography it is going to be reciprocal lattice we will discuss here. X-ray is a basic tool for identify the microscopic uh, feature of any solid material. So the X-ray is a tool by which we can follow the arrangement of atom within the crystal. Now there is a crystal uh, you have to generally see the materials which have the very uh, fine orientation, very regular arrangement uh, such as the quartz cube crystals and the internal microscopy regulators are such that the atoms are going to be arranged in a very packed and very regular manner. And next uh, you can see this is the, these are the very uh, reputed scientists which are going to be identifying the microscopic theory of the any solid material uh, that is the uh, William Henry Bragg and the uh, William Lawrence Bragg and uh, that is the uh, Bragg spectrometer by which you can uh, see the microscopic arrangement of the atoms uh, within the solid material by identify the regularity and the uh, you can say the value of D values of the crystal structure. The next, this is the uh, crystal structure having the various letters. What are the various letters? Okay. The points which are distributed in the space and having the very regular arrangement means at each atom have the same surrounding with that space. And this type of arrangement of uh, points, these are the other places. Uh, previous letters and the basis may be the any atom, any molecule or uh, you can say anything which can be distributed over the previous lattice in a very regular manner in a uh, homogeneous pattern with the uh, previous lattice. Now uh, the that is you can say the points which are exist in a space at the Arrangement of atoms or group of atoms, they are going to be also arranged in the same manner as the previous lattice. And these two are going to be create the real lattice structure. Okay. It may be two dimension, one dimension, three dimension, you can look over here. Huh? Now, there is an important uh, quality of any solid material that can be refined by the translation vector and it can be given as by a parameter a and b in a two dimension if you are going to be taking the three dimension then you can take uh, a b c parameter and the primitive vectors uh, it is given by r is written and it is given in terms of the translational vector in a and b okay now these A and B are distributed over two axis, two dimensional figure having the different integer and these integer are going to be regular or same. Uh, you can say N1 it may contain the number of uh, 
integer or number of lattice point going to be in a direction okay and number of n2 uh, is going to be is in this direction it is in j direction okay now the resultant of both is known as a probability vectors you can say uh, in the next slide you can see the different primitive vectors can be taken as uh, with the different orientation of a and b vectors and uh, but uh, all a and b direction are not acceptable for the vector vectors so only few of them you can see these are the arrangement are going to be considerable and these are the non considerable thing now we go for the three dimensional structure of primitive vectors is going to be a b c structure and you can uh, find the result and the primitive vectors okay uh, n1 a n2 b and n3 c this is n1 in the direction of a and n2 in the direction of points in b and similarly for c now there is a primitive vectors of different direction and orientation and the different shape and size is a on the primitive unit cell and this unit cell contains a long lattice point and conventional you can see the uh, one more lattice point can be attached to the unit cell it, it can be seen the primitive vectors can be taken like that uh, the non previous lattice can be seen these are the points it may be the arrangement is regular but for this one you have to see the each point have not the same surrounding look over here this point have the same surrounding corresponding to this uh, sorry uh, this this uh, you can see work but with respect to this point the surrounding of this atom is going to be different with that uh, this atom have the different surrounding this atom have the different surrounding with that atom so it is not a previous lattice okay only for now previous lattice have, has to be distributed over the lattice point with an angular man so uh, these are the basics of the, the basics basic and with that the different abc vector and alpha beta gamma it is an angle between this is the angle between a and c is going to be beta b and c is going to be alpha b and a is going to be gamma these are the uh, translational vectors and interfacial angles so the translational vectors are a b c in different three direction x y z and interfacial angle alpha beta gamma is a two that in between the two vectors okay. now with that we can find the different previous lattice of the front structure such as a rectangular or sorry so the rectangular uh, uh, square and hexagonal etc uh, this is the same centered rectangular but it is not a primitive lattice because the arrangement of all points are not same as that of primitive lattice now there is a different seven crystal system are there with the basis of uh, grid cell cubic tetragonal uh, orthorhombic hexagonal monolithic fragment and triangular having the different unit cell uh, you can say there is a primitive unit cell having the simple so simple structure of uh, arrangement of atoms at the corner and in the body center i the one additional center at the at the unit cell and in face center atoms are held at the corner and also the additional atoms at the faces each faces that at the middle point is of the work over here to the unit cell. Uh, similarly, you can see in cubic system these three arrangements are allowed. In pentagonal they are two over allowed. And it is going to be uh, arthrombic hexagonal and hexagonal. 
some relevant crystalline structure are there. So that is the uh, simple cubic system. I will go to full coordination number. You can also find out. It is a body centered. I will go uh, one additional atom after which in the body of the earth cell. Similarly, for the face center, at each face, additional atoms are present over here. Uh, that is, total six faces are there, and atoms are present at each face of the element. So, there is a diamond structure having the unique quality that each has, there is a tetragonal structure which is uh, formed like that. The corner atoms are present. In addition with that, the face centered cubic lattice, this as you see, has six faces and the middle atoms are present. Now, additional atom which is attached over here, and let us consider this point. And uh, this point is going to be like that. Uh, you can see one atoms are present with that one, it is going to be attached with the corner atom. And Three adjacent phase, one phase, second phase, and there is a set of images with the adjacent phase and the polar atom. Similarly, uh, we can see that four atoms are such that they are arranged in a diamond uh, structure, and similarly for our things are arranged. Simple hexagonal structure are there, uh, it is given like that. Now, coordination number you can find. The number of atoms that are very nearby because any atom, you can say closely packed atoms, uh, known as a, a coordination number. In a diamond, you can see with the atom, there are four nearest atoms are there. So, what is number of four? In a simple cubic system, in, with that atom, there is a six atoms are nearby at the same distance. Similarly, for BCC, it is going to be eight and FCC is going to be. Is a very closely packed. Crystal planes are also there uh, with the arrangement of uh, regularity of the atoms. There are lines, many lines can be formed in many orientation and direction that form a plane like structure, and this is known as a crystal planes. Similarly, you can, with the regarding these planes, you can find out by with the help of mirror indices, the different orientation of the planes can be found out by that. And the three dimension is the mirror indices, which is going to be defined by H K M R, and it can be found out by taking a reciprocal of the each intercept of the A B C value uh, in X Y Z direction respectively. These A B C value are going to be reciprocal and going to be converted to a whole number in a digit, and this is known as a H K M R. So one 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 zero zero plane. Uh, can be find out it only cuts at x axis, not reduced to y and z axis, or just like that. Similarly, for 111 h kill Miller plane, it is going to be touches or intercept at x, y, z, all direction is at a, b, c. Similarly, for 114 to 10, you can define. There is a simple cubic, there is a 100 plane. 110 plane, 111 plane, similarly for BCC and FCC, there is a different plane which bridges at the different orientation and direction. Uh, look here, the interplanar distance can be distributed like that. Uh, the different planes which is formed over the um, meeting of atoms, and that is in a two dimension, we are going to form each plane having the same distance. It is going to be interplanar distance. And it is defined as a for the cubic radius to the a square for h square plus b square plus b square. If we are going to be different atomic structure, the b square value can be find out by the one upon h square upon a square plus a square upon b square plus n square plus h square. Where a, b, c are the different parameters of the x, y, z expression. In copper, it is given as p values are for the different planes. Now, there is a Plane and directions are there. A family of planes can be found out in a different direction. H K L value it is represented in the parentheses. I like that. Equivalent planes can be found out like that. These are the uh, directional planes. 